sixth grade, module one, lesson 12, problem set. Number one, while shopping, Kyla found a dress that she would like to purchase, but it costs $52.25 more than she has. Kyla charges $5.50 an hour for babysitting. She wants to figure out how many hours she must babysit to earn $52.25 to buy the dress. Use a double number line to support your answer. Okay, so let's make a double number line. And I'm going to start. We know that she makes $5.50 an hour. So for one hour, she makes $5.50. Let's just work off of that. So two hours, she would make $11. Three hours, she would make 11 plus 550 would be 1650. Four hours, she's going to make 1650 plus $5.50 would be $22. We have four hours is $22. Where we're trying to get is $52.25. So we're really not even, not that close. We're about halfway there or a little bit more. So I'm going to jump ahead on the number line because 4 and 22, that's kind of a, um, both of those numbers are easy to double. So if I multiply that by 2, so if she works 8 hours, she'll make $44. So now we've moved a little bit further up the number line. And we're closer to $52.25. So let's continue with that. So then if she works nine hours, $44 plus $5.50 would give us $49.50. And if she works 10 hours, $49.50 plus $5.50, that would be $55. So now we've gotten past the $52.25. That would be somewhere in here but we didn't come exactly to $52.25, which was the goal here. So let's see what's right in the middle. So if she, she works nine and a half hours. So if she worked an half an hour, for an hour she earns $5.50. So if she worked half of that time, if we split that in two, Remember, we can bring the decimal point straight up and then just divide like it's a normal whole number. Two goes into five four, two times. Not four. Whoops. Okay, two goes into five two times. Two times two is four. If we subtract, we get one bring down the 5. 2 goes into 15, that would be 7 times. 7 times 2 is 14. Bring down the 1, bring down the 0. 2 goes into 10, 5 times, so 2 times 5 is 10. So now we have no remainder, so half of that is $2.75. So, so we can figure out exactly what this halfway point is by adding $49.50 plus two dollars and seventy five cents five plus seven is twelve carry the one twelve carry the one so that right here is fifty two dollars and twenty five cents which is what we were looking for so it would take nine and a half hours of babysitting to be able to buy the dress Number two, Frank has been driving at a constant speed for three hours, during which time he traveled 195 miles. Frank would like to know how long it will take him to complete the remaining 455 miles, assuming he maintains the same constant speed. Help Frank determine how long the remainder of his trip will take. Include a table or diagram to support your answer. Okay, so every three hours he travels 195 miles, and we want to know how long it's going to take him to go... 455 miles. So let's make our double line graph. So three hours gets him 195 miles. So if we went for six hours, let's see how far that would get him. That would be 390 miles. If he went nine hours,
that would be 585 miles. So he wants to be at 455 miles, which would probably be somewhere in here. But we want to know where that is in terms of the hours. What we don't know is how, what is seven hours and eight hours. So it looks like it's closest to seven hours. Let's figure out what seven hours would be. Now, seven hours, if we notice, between six and nine, seven hours is one third of the way between six and nine. What we can do is take the distance from here and here, which is 195, and figure out what a third of that distance would be. So let's do 195. We could either multiply by one third, or we could divide by three. We're gonna end up doing the same thing. So we have 195 thirds. So let's do 195 divided by three. Three can't go into one, but it goes into 19 six times. And three goes into 15 five times. So it's 65. So to figure out what this point right here would be, let's do 390 plus 65. That would be 455, which is what we were looking for. So seven hours would be 455 miles. So it's going to take, Frank, seven hours.